What is happening guys, Cowboy here, and welcome back. So before we move on to our next mission, the Two Faces of Hospitality, let's talk about the Dojo missions. So after the last mission, you have unlocked at this point the uh, Master Tier missions for all the weapons. We have Sword, Spear, Dual Swords, etc. Uh, now you should have enough proficiency in whatever weapon you've been focusing. In my case, it was Axe. Now I did this mission roughly two times to get some of the gear. Uh, the reason I want to point this out is that the sets and the gear you can get from these missions are likely going to be some of the best gear you can find for your particular weapon at that point in the game. Uh, taking a look at the Kintaro set here, you can see I have a uh, damage taken, battle focus duration, and increased attack defense with Axe. Rumbling Earth is boosted up by 20%, some extra life. Very, very solid bonuses. Uh, on top of that, the Axe comes with built-in lightning, so just a, a solid choice all around. Uh, now, if you don't have access to a good set, instead, you could run Kingo's. Now, the last mission, Kingo, starts to drop, and you might have quite a few pieces of it, uh, and this is a very, very safe set to go with from here all the way to the end of the game. You have a 4% melee damage bonus and then an extra 15% backstab damage bonus, which means as long as you're behind a target, that's 15% more damage all the time. Uh, so very, very safe set if you didn't get anything else that you like. Kingo's has relatively low requirements, the non-crafted version, needing uh, 13 constitution and 14 strength, so that's a safe alternative. Um, I am running Kingo's with Kintaro because going full Kintaro and picking up that six piece would have put me over B agility. No matter what, make sure that equipment weight stays at 70% or below. You want it green so that you have that blue agility so that you have nice, uh, nice mobility there. So in this case, we are running five piece Kintaro and then I have the cross sickles Katana along with the waist guard to pick up some extra health there. Um, now moving on beyond, uh, as I mentioned, we don't have enough side quests to really dedicate an episode, so instead we're moving straight on into another main mission with the Two Faces of Hospitality. Seven Kodamas, two locks of hair, one hot spring, and two rock dark realm instances. Let's jump on in. If you need to respec for your set, now is a good time to do that, which is actually exactly what I did, um, just to make sure I had the requirements for it. I had to go up to 13 for Kingos on Constitution, 15 on Strength for the current set I'm wearing, and then I dumped every other point into Stamina to be able to get below that 70% weight threshold. Uh, but anyway, as soon as we pass by him, grab this Kodama. And actually, if we talk to him, he should give us a arrowproof amulet. Go. But you're probably not going to even need that. But anyway, grab this loot. And let's rest. So I got less uh, Omeo than I did, because I had to put more over into stamina. But anyway, I'll continue on. And right here, you can kind of see him. There's a ninja hiding in the grass. Dead ninja hiding in the grass now. And we're going to give this guy a nice shot to the head. And we'll kill this one. this loot and then there should be some loot up here in this tower okay, I left a rifle ammunition up there did I no? okay thought I saw a shiny right, grab this and then we're gonna go ahead uh, there's one enemy that's up in the tower so we'll get rid of this one Rumbling Earth! It's that 20% boost on the set. Let's go up here and take him out. Really nice set having the lightning. Out of my hot spring, buddy. Which, using this along with Obsidian Samurai, actually a pretty decent combination for Axe. Uh, and then while we're in here, grab Kodama number two. All right, now we're going to go through here real fast. You can see our basic combo is nice and strong with this new set we got on. And more than likely, this will probably take us up towards the end of the game. Uh, just soul matching these pieces, making sure they stay leveled up. We only have one that's purple that we need to level. Uh, and also, keep in mind, you can always do a little bit of tempering. I haven't done a ton, but I made sure I had Kodama Sensor here, uh, projectile damage, defense, backstab taken, 
I got attack onto the gloves, and then the rest of this is just kind of blanket defensive stats. Uh, over here, I did put on some shock accumulation just to help with the lightning buildup that is on my axe. And that damage bonus familiarity, of course, is from my previous axe. I soul matched that on over uh, to keep that bonus, keep the weapon nice and strong. Okay, two more ahead with one up at the tower. Uh, chest and a... Hang on. You get the chest that's in there? Talking so much. Yes, I did. And we got that shortcut. So you can essentially just use this to skip all the crap that we just fought our way through. Uh, let's see. So in the next area, we're going to take a sharp left up here for an enemy. And we'll get this chest. And you're going to want either a rifle or a bow on. And we are going to sprint on over this way and take out the cannon guy. And right after we take him out, let's just avoid this guy's shot. Take him out. Grab this. Uh, if you want, you can make this next encounter a little bit easier. You should come on over this way. Let's see, shoot the one across, then kill the two in the elite. Over here and grab a second. Oh, wrong way. Go up from the other side to grab that loot. Oh yes, the final guy in the grass. Alright, and then head on over this way. For a shrine. Right, we got this little loot. We're gonna open up that in a little bit. We gotta grab a key for it. Let's grab this for now. And then talk to Hanzo to get him to join you. And then go around here to get Kodama number three. All right, so ahead we're gonna have a little bit of an enemy gauntlet. We're gonna have uh, two aberrants, then a big skelly, two skelly archers, wheel monk and Rukurobi, and then a yoki and uh, our Matsu Zuzi or whatever, the big heady demons. These guys just keep on coming, so you want to stay aggressive on them. See if I can lift. Right, we're going to focus on getting the Yoki down first. What's great is with lightning, it's easy to get off this charge. Big damage, because they're nice and slow. Grab 
grab all these goodies and then up here to grab this key. And we're gonna sprint on back and pop this open now. And get this chest. Right? And then we'll rest at the shrine because that part is done. Um, let's keep it going. More stamina. Alright, um, as for respawns, the only thing is this one Yoki will respawn every time that you do that chest, so you know, nothing too bad. up here and pop this open um, we have a scampus over here on the left on a long fuzzy cat then go over this way to have Honda join us all right now this next part can get a little confusing we're gonna go, there's a lot we're gonna cover here so um, we're going to kill these two first It shouldn't be that hard because you'll have both Honda and uh, Hanzo with you for the rest of this level. Anyway, we're going to kill those two. We're going to get some loot. Uh, where is it at? Right here. Make sure to fire this cannon. This is going to open a shortcut back the other way. All right. Then we're going to go inside and we're going to fight these four. Like something out of Dynasty Warriors, all these <laughs> dudes everywhere fighting. So anyway, take them all down, grab the stuff. All right. Um, afterwards, we're gonna go right out of here. We're gonna kill this one Dark Zone skeleton. So we're not gonna do this Dark Zone just yet, but we're just getting rid of him so that he doesn't get involved in the fight later. Grab this chest, and then uh, I believe that's it. Just kill two enemies, grab chest and kill Dark Zone Kelly, then return and go down the ladder. Okay, so now we're gonna go back this way, and we're going down here. Uh, there are two baddies to kill, and Kodama number four. Of course, Kodama should be like right here. We go. Let's go down to number four. And there's Honda showing back up. Grab this loot. Obviously, be careful not to fall into the water here. And then over here, grab this loot. Um, okay, and then we're gonna go up here, and this is why we fired the cannon. This is now open, and we have a shortcut right back to the shrine. Uh, but we're actually gonna continue on this way. We're gonna go up the boat here. And then we're going to go down here. So we're still gonna be going into the dark zone, but we're just, uh, taking a slightly different way around. Um... As opposed to coming up top, we made sure to cover that loot. So, from here, we have to kill this one skelly. And then we have to kill a Yoki. And that's it. And that big skeleton we killed earlier, so we don't need to worry about him. He can't drop down onto us or anything. Double spin to win! Oh, it's not my spin to win. That's right. I got, got a new move. Oh, oh, oh. All 
right. Um, let's see. After straight for a chest, uh, Skelly and Yoki. Afterwards, straight for a chest. Should be a chest. Here. There we go. Uh, then we're gonna go up this ladder. Kill this guy. As always, shoot the cannon. Um, just to confirm, I want to say there's nothing in this room. Yep, nothing in there. Alright, uh, there's another enemy that we are going to plunge right below here. We're going to grab this. Take care of our Omeo locks. And now we're just going to kind of swing through here and kill everything we can. So we have just a bunch of different enemies to dispatch. Uh, ignore the cloud for now. We're going to save that for last. Or you know what? You could do the cloud. Well, once you get through with the main guys that are right here, it's safe to do the cloud. Because the cloud's not going to respawn. And the cloud, let me see. Dispatch all the enemies and kill the Yoki in the cloud. Alright, let's just summon him up. Since it's a Yoki, we can just take that out of out of the equation now. I'll take care of you real fast. Like I said, a lot of this shouldn't be hard just because you do have two guys with you the whole time. So, you're able to kind of just cruise through this. Uh, dispatch all the enemies. Uh, loot behind the left tree. Kodama number five is up here in the tower on the right side. Uh, this guy... There's a couple ninjas that are around. This one just dropped down behind me, but I'm not that worried about it. I got my homies with me. Feel the grapple. Despite that, we are going to keep nice and full on health. Oh. Ah! Why right, do you gotta move? Alright, this is back where we originally dropped down. Uh, and then the last thing is switch to a rifle back up in here look at this idiot and then out here on this guy and get yourselves a cat all right a house ninja campus proceed forward for loot and a wheel monk in a cloud guarding a chest That. Um, they're gonna leave you behind at this point, so flying solo. So kill him. Go to the chest. And then we're gonna go up here for a aberrant. God, I love having the Kasha core. That speed boost on Amrita is absolutely amazing. Fire this cannon. Now the shrine's right there, but do not go to the shrine yet. Instead, we're gonna go on back. We need to fire that cannon. Wait. Now that we have fired that cannon, we can get the Kodama that we left behind. Uh, let's see. Oh, 105. Ryuman. Oh, none of these are really that good compared to what I already got. So how about... Uh, let's see. What do I want to give you? I wonder what happens if I drop him a tea set. I've never done that before. So anyway, I pick up Kodama number six. Not bad. Red, or red spider lily for a tea set. That's good. Alright, so we're gonna head on over this way, and we are almost done. You can talk to them if you want. I don't think we have to, from a lore perspective, but they don't give you any items, to my knowledge. Uh, 
over to the shrine. All right. Now to bring things on home. Let's see if I can get a level. 40,000 short. 40,000 short. I do not have anything I can pop. All right, so we got two enemies ahead that we got to kill. We can uh, make things slightly easier by killing the one. My turn. Sit down. I did not want to die. As you probably noticed, this is a decent mission for farming up those uh, mortal soul cores. Not the best, though. We have one that's coming up in the final zone that's even better. Uh, so kill those two, grab the loot over here. Then we're going to open this. And we're going to swing to the left. And kill this Rukurobi. Love that combo. And then right back here... We have our final Kodama. Right, so outside we have a flying bolt that's guarding some loot. Over here and knock this down. Oh, I turn back this way for a Nurikabe guarding some chests. Let's see, hostile, hostile. Oh god, <laughs> I didn't even look at the things. All we have left is a skelly. Like loot, skelly. This is the locks, I believe. Yep, there's the ninja locks. And this guy and the skelly that just popped up. Alright. And this. So, up next, we have a one on one fight with Tochiro. Now, what's interesting about this fight is he will keep trying to buff over and over and over. So if you're a ninjutsu build, you can literally just throw kunai at him. Or if you're an omyo build, you can spam shots. And you can spam him until he's basically dead. He'll just sit there and keep doing it over and over and over again. It's kind of sad. Uh, but otherwise, it's a dual sword fight. Um, headshot him at the start. Run in and get that, that, uh, that final blow on him. Uh, in terms of farm, if you want to farm this guy, rest at that shrine now that we've cleared everything and then just keep running back and farming him. He has two unique dual sword skills that can drop uh, in his sets, so lots of lots of good stuff to get out of this guy. Gonna get those up and head on in. Definitely one of the easier human battles in my experience. Very much a uh, just stay on top of them. Don't really let them do anything. And kind of as you can see, he's very flashy going from the katana to the dual sword, so it leaves him open a lot. Um, I'd say that was probably the easiest boss fight we've had thus far. And so anyway, uh, with Tokichiro down, you're going to get a big old crazy cutscene. And shit is about to hit the fan. So up next, uh, we are going to be doing another main mission. We're going to be knocking out the High Spirited Demon, the third and final mission for this zone. 
Um, as you can see, looking at the map, we've we've gained an additional one one more side quest. Uh, so not too much. Uh, but real fast, before we wrap up, one thing I want to talk about are Guardian Spirits, because we've gotten some new ones. Uh, so in the... Coming over to this region, I mentioned it, but we have Neko already. Uh, and then the last mission we did, we got Inno Sao Sao. Now, a lot of people get confused about this damage taken mid-attack. Um, or excuse me, not that. That and charge boost, actually. Uh, so damage taken mid-attack, as you can see, reduces damage taken while you are attacking. So if you're in the middle of an attack you'll take 15% less damage. This makes this really good for weapons that are very trade oriented, like Axe or Odachi. Uh, as for charge attack boost, as you can see, it's increases the damage dealt by charging attacks and dashing attacks. And I think that's important because a lot of people see that and they go, oh, charging attacks, like charging to throw my hatchet. No, no, you gotta look for that little icon. So see how the roar has that little shoulder check icon? That's considered a charge attack. Um, in terms of charge attacks, there are basically two in the game that I think are actually good. We have random slice, where you just keep running and swinging your swords. And then over in the spear, we have uh, wild spear, which is similar, but with a spear. Uh, beyond that, charge attacks in general are very, very weak. So just keep that in mind. It's not about charging an ability. It's about physically charging forward if you choose to use that. Uh, as for our Shifling Tree, we might as well pick up that. That gives us almost full key anytime we do a burst. Uh, in Omeo, we have Weakness now. We have Weakness and Barrier, and we have that covered. Let's put a point into uh, Luckbringer. It's a nice thing to have for farming. And a Ninja, it doesn't really matter. So we'll just do this, I suppose. Uh, so we're going to wrap this one on, on up here. Up next, we have the High Spirited Demon, which is basically right, rerunning through the two faces of hospitality, but backwards. And there's only going to be six Kodamas, but a Hot Spring and three different Dark Realm instances. Uh, definitely a very intense mission with some, some hyped up music, so it'll be a good one. Anyway, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys soon enough with that.